Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the powerful name of Jesus, the resurrected Christ. He's the Lord of Lords, and he's the King of Kings. He is Alpha and Omega. He is a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. And what's so exciting about that is while he is God and he is a mighty God, he's also Abba. He's our father. We're his children. And we get an opportunity to go to his throne of grace and find help in our times of need. And so today, as we um, continue our walk through the word of God, we're praying through the book of Proverbs. That's right. We're praying through the wisdom literature um, that God gives us in the book of Proverbs. And today is day number two. You know, Solomon, when he received the task of being the second, uh, excuse me, the third king over Israel from his father, David, it was a task that Solomon realized was too big for him, that he did not know how to operate in the kingdom. He did not know how to make decisions. He did not know how to lead God's people. And so Solomon went into prayer and he asked God for wisdom. In fact, in first Kings chapter three, he asked God for discernment to be able to discern between good and evil as he's making decisions. And God granted him that wisdom in abundance. And not only that, but God said, because he asked for wisdom, he said, I'm gonna now also give you riches and honor. You may be facing a situation in your life that's too big for you. You may be challenged with something that to be honest, you don't know how to do, or you don't know to do how to do it the right way. You're doing it the best you can, but you're not doing it the best that can be done. And God says, um, that we ought to go ahead and just pray to him and ask him for wisdom and discernment. So that's what we're doing all month long. And today we're going to be praying from Proverbs chapter two and verse one through five. Proverbs chapter two and verse one through five says, my son, if you receive my words and treasure my command within you so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Amen. That Proverbs chapter two, verse one through five is filled with so many pearls of wisdom. And we want to pray about number one, that we would receive God's words. Number two, we want to pray that we would treasure his commands. Number three, we want to pray that we would cry out for his discernment, his wisdom. We want to pray that we would lift up our voice to receive God's understanding and that we would search for his wisdom. And then finally, we want to pray that we will understand the fear of the Lord and to find the knowledge of God. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you and bless you and praise you for this day that you have made. God, you are awesome and mighty and we are rejoicing. We are glad in it. God, we thank you for the privilege of being able to pray to you. We thank you for the opportunity to come before your presence and to come boldly to your throne of grace, to find grace and help in our time of need. Like Solomon, Lord, we have tasks in our lives that are too big for us, that are, that are too monumental for us. We don't know how to operate in the roles and responsibilities that you've given to us. And so, Lord God, there are decisions that we have to make, there are people we have to lead, there are tasks that we have to complete. And Lord God, we want your wisdom. We want your discernment to know right from wrong, to know what's godly and what's ungodly, to know what's good from what is evil. And so, Lord God, today, we just pray that we would receive your word, that each day we wake up, Lord, that we would search for your word and we would read it and we would receive what you say to us in the Holy Scriptures. And we pray, Lord God, not only would we receive your word, but we pray, Lord God, we would treasure your commandments. Lord, when you tell us what to do and how to do it, and when you give us insight on when to do it and with whom, Lord, we pray we would value your voice above all of the other voices that we hear in our lives and in our day. We pray we would treasure your commandments, Lord, as the most valuable thing in our lives. Not only that, Lord, we pray that we would continuously cry out for discernment from you when we face challenges, when we face choices, when we face decisions, Lord, we pray we wouldn't lean to our own understanding, but in all of our ways, oh God, we would acknowledge you and we would cry out for your wisdom. We would cry out for your discernment. We would cry out for your understanding. We pray, Lord God, as we lift up our voices to you, that you would give us your understanding, that you would give us your wisdom. 
as we search your scriptures and we listen to sermons, we listen to teachers, Lord, we pray that as a man or a woman searches for a hidden treasure, Lord, we would find the hidden treasure of your wisdom in the preaching and teaching of your word. And we pray, Lord God, today that as we search for your word, as we lift up our voices for your understanding, as we cry out for discernment and treasure your commands and receive your word, we pray, Lord God, that we would understand what, the, what it means to fear you, to respect and to honor you and to find your knowledge. And Lord, help us to apply that knowledge, help us to apply that understanding, help us to apply that wisdom each and every day in our lives. Lord God, we want your wisdom. We wanna be able to discern between right and wrong, good and bad, good and evil, Lord. And we know we can't do that apart from you. So fill us with your Holy Spirit. Lead us and guide us by your word. Lord, anoint us and pour your wisdom upon us today that we might be able to do your will as you have commanded us to do it. And we believe victory in the lives of your people. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number two. and We pray from Proverbs chapter two and verse one through five. And it says, my son, if you receive my words, and treasure my commands within you so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Go in the wisdom of the Lord today. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.